before they hit the asphalt. Fans had the chance to meet with their hockey heroes and get an autograph on their jersey or pitcher. Many of George's hockey friends were on hand, including one-time Rockets Luke Shen and Blake Como, and former Habs mates Brendan Gallagher and Carey Price. Blackhawks defenseman Brent Seabrook and his new teammate Jordan Tutu were here too, along with Rockets Game 7 hero Justin Kirkland. After a ceremonial puck drop, it was game on with the NHLers joining the kids and adults in the street hockey tournament. I saw you playing earlier, some of the kids over there doing a little Gallagher hockey there in the front of the net, rubbing the kids out and having some fun. Yeah, I was, uh, one kid was getting on my nerves, so I had to, you know, I had to rough them up. No, it was, it was fun. We're enjoying out here. You know, the kids are enjoying themselves. We're having a good time, so it's been good. What about you and your kid? Do you remember back to street hockey? Did you play that before ice hockey? Or? Yeah, ab absolutely. I think everyone remembers. Um, you know, just going out when there's no snow, you get out and play on the driveway, play on the street, and do whatever you can do to play the game. Part of the reason why anyone that's played hockey or, or plays hockey in whatever capacity, you first started playing on the street with your friends. Uh, you know, I think you ask anybody, they've played one game seven for the Stanley Cup final and next goal wins and then moms are calling for dinner, right? This is where we started to love the game of hockey. I heard you like to play uh, street hockey on a recess. Absolutely. That's a, that's a very uh, famous pastime at St. Joe's and they've uh, worn out a lot of chain link fences over there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the staple for every kid in Canada. I think we all uh, wind up with a stick and a ball in our hands at, uh, at some point. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun to get out and and be outside, get off the ice surface for a change. Uh, I still play street hockey, yes. Uh, I played as a kid a lot, and uh, back in, in Tawasson, we, we have a, a tournament playing uh, roller hockey and, and have some fun with that with the boys back home. Like once in a lifetime opportunity, you don't usually get to play with many people like them. So it was, yeah, very fun, and it was awesome. You got to play goal, because Kerry didn't want to play goal. So, I mean, did he give you any tips? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I like that I got to play with them and they were very good. Tell us how much of a thrill is it to play with guys who you see on TV playing in the NHL? Uh, it's really fun. It's cool because you get to see them and it's like really fun, yeah. Are they any good at road hockey? Yeah, they're good. What was it like to have uh, Brent Seabrook as one of your defensemen or I guess forward or wherever he was playing today? Well, he better be playing with us the next game, that's what I can say. <laughs> yeah, good times. <laughs> George's Old School, St. Joseph Elementary, will soon open a brand new facility on Sutherland. Currently home to 230 children from kindergarten to grade 7, the school now hopes to add an additional 100 students. And it was due. The old school had been in operation since 1939. Josh jokes a little bit about helping us raise money for the school. He says, we needed to build a school back when I was at school. It was an old school, so it's an even older school now. And I say that only because my parents went to that school. You know, I mean, uh, at the time, I think it was one building from kindergarten to grade 12 that my mom, my mom and dad had, had went to. We're building a frame around all the great things that are already there. And so we were worried that the exterior of our school did not reflect what was happening inside. The academic excellence, the wonderful community, our excellent teachers and staff so we really felt it was very important in time so the new structure is a two-story structure there's 12 brand new classrooms wheelchair accessible there's an elevator and it just will be modern and updated 